US fears Russian counter space weapons may attack other satellites. The United States Space Command suggests that the satellite launched by Russia last week is a weapon capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit. According to a United States Space Command representative in a conversation with journalists, Russia deployed this new counter space weapon into the same orbit as a US government satellite. We have observed nominal activity and assess it is likely a counter space weapon presumably capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit, Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder has claimed. This involves the deployment of at least nine satellites in low Earth orbit, including Cosmos 2576, which is described as a type of Russian military inspector spacecraft. These satellites were launched into space by the Russian Soyuz rocket from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome on May the 16th. This mix of military and civilian payloads was totally unexpected. Never seen that before on a Russian launch, said Bart Hendricks, a longtime analyst tracking Russia's space program. An American official familiar with the intelligence data explained that US services anticipated the launch of Cosmos 2576 and informed allies of their assessment of the satellite before its deployment in space. The US intelligence report said that Cosmos 2576 resembled previously deployed Russian anti-satellite payloads from 2019 and 2020. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov rejected the Pentagon's claims as misinformation. I don't think we should be responding to every fake coming from Washington, he told journalists. The Russian space program is developing smoothly and includes launches of spacecraft for various purposes, including those that solve the issues of strengthening our defense capabilities, the diplomat said. However, he reiterated that Moscow consistently opposes the deployment of strike weapons in low Earth orbit. The Americans may say whatever they want, but Russia's policy on the issue will not change, Ryabkov stressed. If the US really wanted to achieve security in space, it would have reconsidered its destructive approach and accepted Russia's proposal to develop a treaty on the prevention of an arms race in outer space, he said. The Su-27 supersonic fighter was damaged as a result of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the military airfield Kashovska. This is reported by the Russian media ASTRA. Recall, on the night of May 19, the Crimean Peninsula was hit by rocket attacks of the Ukrainian army. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the Atakms missiles were repelled by the air defense system. But Ukraine states that at least three missiles were not shot down and hit the territory of the military airfield in the town of Kushchevsk, Krasnodar territory, on the night of May 19. As a result of the attack, a fire broke out, the Russian Su-27 supersonic fighter and the infrastructure of the airfield were damaged. According to other information, at the airfield, intelligence of Ukraine worked together with the forces of unmanned systems of the armed forces of Ukraine. Russians on social networks complained about a series of explosions and fires at night, and one even cried, they blew up our bush. At this airfield there were dozens of different planes that attack Ukrainian positions at the front, Su-34, Su-25, Su-27, MiG-29. This is the second drone attack on the Kushchevska military airfield and the Slovensk refinery in the last three weeks. At that time, Several planes were hit at the airfield, and the refining and atmospheric columns were hit at the refinery. Furthermore, on the night of May 19, there was a drone attack on the Slavyank oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that the drone belonging to Ukraine fell on the territory of the factory and exploded. As a result, a fire broke out in the plant and its activity was suspended for a while. No casualties are reported. In addition, it is said that during the night there was a strong explosion and fire at an oil base in Vyborg, Leningrad region, Russia. It is not known what caused the explosion.